Live look outside from Sandia Peak. Gorgeous shot of that sun now coming up over the eastern horizon as we are waking up to those clear skies and pretty cool conditions out there. But you can see on the satellite and the radar, yeah, we're not tracking a whole lot as we are looking at that area of low pressure that brought us all that wind and dust yesterday. Now kind of working its way off to the east, but it's still going to bring some of those gusty winds across northeast portions of the state as uh, we are do see some of those gusty winds on the back side of that system. Also tracking some of these high clouds from Roswell to Carlsbad into Hobbs, although not bringing us any precipitation. In fact, we are going to be fairly dry from here on out. There's a closer look at that area of low pressure now spinning across parts of western Kansas, also into uh, Nebraska and also spawning off some severe thunderstorm warnings, even a couple of isolated tornado warnings uh, earlier this morning, which is very rare. Usually tornadoes happen during the heat of the day around three, four o'clock in the afternoon. But again, that just goes to show you how dynamic this system is heading out the door right now still needing to bundle up. We have temperatures hovering in those upper 30s here in Albuquerque 42 degrees coming in across Santa Fe Las Vegas below freezing in Taos with the upper 30s in Farmington. We do have the 20s uh, in the forecast this morning in Pagosa Springs but Trinidad you're much uh, warmer with temperatures in the low 50s right now 41 in Ruidoso mid 50s in Roswell with 42 degrees down to the south and west in Deming. We are still looking at some of these gusty conditions anywhere between 22 miles per hour in Taos and gusting up to 33 miles per hour in Las Vegas. And this is the area where we do have those wind advisories and high wind warnings until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. This is the area where we will see those winds gusting anywhere between 50 and 60 miles per hour. And because of those dry winds, also the warmer weather and those uh, low relative humidity values, that's why we do have that high fire threat once again, but mainly for the Northeast Highlands. It will stay breezy here in the metro, certainly not as intense as what we saw yesterday, but we will see uh, mostly sunny skies today with those dry conditions continuing. Going into our Wednesday, more of the same sunny skies, warming conditions, highs back in the upper 70s to even low 80s across the metro, and we will see that slight afternoon breeze taking over. In the southeast today, not a bad day, still pretty toasty though in Carlsbad and even Hobbs. You're in the low to mid 80s, breezy and sunny in Roswell today with that high of 85. Push closer to 90 by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday. And then by the weekend, we do have in a 30% chance for a couple of those isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. A great day in the southwest today with highs in the 60s and 70s with plentiful sunshine. Window rock sunny with a high of 64 today. Farmington breezy, lots of sunshine. We're back in the upper 60s, mid 70s for Wednesday and then approaching 80 by the time we get to say Thursday and Friday. Chama, we're looking at sunny sky, 61 degrees for you today. Day, upper 60s and breezy in Santa Fe back in the upper 70s for Thursday and Friday with a 20% chance for a few isolated storms on Saturday 73 and Raton Roy were back in the mid 70s to come carry back in the low 80s breezy to windy conditions and across the Northeast remember red flag warnings in effect until later on this evening so outdoor burn outdoor burning not recommended once again this afternoon we have the mid 70s in Corrales and Bernalillo the foothills a smidge cooler with that high of 71 Breezy and sunny in Rio Rancho. We're back in those low 70s, upper 70s in Albuquerque tomorrow. Those breezes will be sticking around Thursday and Friday with highs back in the 80s. 79 degrees on Saturday with a stray shower chance on Sunday. We're dry as we get the new work week started with temperatures bouncing back into the lower 80s.